ever wondered how to build an application that's truly production ready? Hey there Pixelers, it's Michael Haddon. Today we're going to dive into the 12 factor app principles, and we will discover how they can supercharge our cloud native applications. All right, let's jump into these 12 game changing rules. Brought to you by Heroku, the trailblazing cloud provider, their primary goal was to empower clients with cutting edge methods for building scalable applications. And guess what? These principles are now serve as a rock solid foundation for creating scalable, maintainable and portable cloud native applications. Now, in a slightly different order than the original, the build release run principle is where the fun begins. We have three distinct phases to start with. First up, build. Your code transforms into an executable bundle through compilation, minification, and transpilation. Fetching all those crucial dependencies and resources your application needs to function. The result, a set of artifacts, commonly known as a build. Next, release. Here the build artifacts join forces with the configuration data for your target environment creating a release that's ready for deployment. Remember, releases are immutable. Once they're made, no changes are allowed. And finally, run. In this stage, the release is executed in the target environment, bringing your application to life and making it accessible to the world. With unique identifiers for each release, rolling back has never been easier. Feeling a bit lost? Let's demystify the concept with a concrete example. During the build stage, we craft a Docker container of our application and push it to our organization's container registry, giving it a unique release identifier. In the release stage, we bundle our Kubernetes or Terraform deployment manifests, which include a reference to our Docker release. With GitOps, this reference is stored and managed in our Git repository. At last, in the run stage, we deploy our release to execute the build in the target environment. By separating these stages, we achieve a crystal clear and consistent workflow that minimizes errors during deployment and makes the whole process more reliable and manageable. Plus, it paves the way for enhanced auditing, rollback capabilities, and seamless continuous integration and deployment practices. Let's jump back to the start with the code base principle, where the magic of version control comes alive. Each application will have one code base, usually stored in Git, and can be deployed across various environments like development, staging, and production. Sure, configurations might differ slightly, but they all rock the same base code. By embracing a single code base, you're in for a treat with seamless collaboration, streamlined code reviews, and effortless rollbacks when needed. Tracking changes and maintaining consistency across environments becomes a breeze. The dependencies principle demands that you explicitly declare and isolate all your external libraries, frameworks, or services that your app relies on. With dependency management tools like npm, pip, or maven, you'll be able to keep your app maintainable by allowing you to swap out or update specific dependencies without hiccups. Don't forget to explore dependency isolation tools to keep your application running smoothly. For instance, when using pip, virtualenv is your go-to solution. It ensures that other Python installations won't mess with your application. The port binding principle emphasizes that your application should be entirely self-contained. No more separate web servers or runtime environments because your application is now a powerful standalone entity. Although the naming of this might sound confusing at first, don't worry. The core idea is that your application shouldn't rely on a shared web server container like Tomcat. This unlocks incredible flexibility in deployment options and makes your application ultra portable across different environments and platforms. Additionally, it paves the way for microservices architecture and containerization, where each service can be independently deployed and exposed via its own unique port. Jumping forward to our release factors, we have the config principle, giving our application a major boost in maintainability and security. Say goodbye to hard coding sensitive data like database credentials, API keys, or feature flags in your code base. Why? Because keeping configuration data separate lets you modify it with ease, 
without touching a single line of code. Just store those precious values in environment variables, configuration files, or external services, and voila, your app becomes ultra portable across different environments while keeping sensitive info safe and sound. The backing services principle, where your app's external services like databases, caching systems, or message queues get the modular treatment as attached resources. What does this mean for you? They're easily replaceable and accessible through a URL or connection string. By treating these backing services as swappable resources, you'll effortlessly switch between providers, update versions, or tweak configurations without even glancing at your application's core code. This approach fosters a more flexible, maintainable, and scalable application infrastructure. The dev prod parity principle underscores the need to maintain rock solid consistency between your development, staging, and production environments. This is my favorite principle. By shrinking these differences, we can detect issues early on, slash deployment risks, and supercharge the entire development process. How awesome is that? Here are some key areas that you will want to focus on. Time. Turbocharge your code deployments by minimizing the time gap between them. With frequent deployments, you'll spot and fix issues at lightning speed. Personnel. Encourage developers to dive into the deployment process, empowering them with a better understanding of production issues and enabling rapid fire resolutions. Teamwork makes the dream work. Tools. Consistency is king. Use the same tools and services across all environments to guarantee your application behaves consistently throughout the entire development lifecycle. Now we have the run factors and we start with the processes principle where your app goes stateless. This means that any data needing to stick around across requests gets stored in a backing service like a database or caching system instead of hanging around in your app's memory or on the file system. By embracing the stateless lifestyle, scaling your application horizontally becomes a piece of cake. Distribute the load across multiple instances without breaking a sweat over state synchronization or contention. This approach also simplifies deployment, recovery, and updates, taking your application's robustness and resilience to the next level. The concurrency principle states that your application should be designed to handle multiple concurrent processes or threads allowing it to scale out efficiently. By leveraging the process model, you can manage different types of workloads with separate processes, such as background tasks, long running processes, and user requests, each running independently. Embracing this approach supercharges your application to scale horizontally, distributing the workload across multiple instances or even multiple machines. The result, outstanding resource utilization sky-high resilience, and unparalleled performance under heavy load. A must-have for building rock-solid applications is the disposability principle, which ensures our system can withstand the test of time. This principle is all about crafting your application to be ultra-robust and incredibly resilient in the face of unexpected events. How do you achieve this? By designing your application to start in a flash and shut down gracefully, slashing downtime and ensuring efficient resource management. A lightning fast startup means your application is raring to serve requests almost as soon as it is launched. This is absolutely crucial for horizontal scaling as new instances can be added in a snap to handle a surging demand and for recovery as failed instances can be replaced without breaking a sweat. Graceful shutdown means elegantly ending your application, making sure any in-progress tasks reach completion and resources are properly released. This helps you avoid dreaded data corruption, lost work, and other pesky issues that can arise during sudden termination. The Logs principle emphasizes that your application should not be responsible for managing its own log files. Instead, it should treat logs as an event stream that can be captured, processed, and stored by external systems. This approach separates concerns, allowing your application to focus on its core functionality while providing greater flexibility in log management. To implement this principle, you can stream logs. Make your application a log streaming powerhouse by generating logs as a continuous flow of events, typically outputting them to standard out. 
capture logs. Use log management tools to capture, process, and store your logs. Popular options include Logstash, FluentD, and cloud-based services like AWS CloudWatch or Google Stack Driver. Analyze logs. Dive into log analysis tools such as Kibana, Grafana, or Splunk to monitor, search, and analyze your logs. Gain invaluable insights to your application's performance and health. The admin processes principle highlights the need to manage one-off tasks, such as database migrations, data cleanup, or administrative actions as separate processes that run in the same environment as your application. This approach ensures consistency, maintainability, and a clear separation of concerns. Check out these best practices. Same environment. Run admin processes in the same environment as your application, ensuring they have seamless access to the same resources, configurations, and dependencies. Separate processes. Treat admin tasks as distinct processes, separate from your application's long-running processes to avoid interfering with your application's core functionality. Automation. Use task runners, job schedulers, or container orchestration tools like Kubernetes Jobs to automate and manage the execution of admin processes. These principles may not be the perfect fit for everyone. For example, they are more tailored to the microservice architecture than monolithic. Furthermore, some argue that storing secrets as environment variables could pose security risks, and mounting files for secrets could be a safer alternative. Nonetheless, the 12-factor app methodology serves as a solid foundation for comprehending the essential components required to set up a project for success in a production environment. Let's all learn from each other, so I'm curious on your thoughts or opinions you guys have down in the comments. Thanks for checking out this video. As always, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Cheers!